Hi guys, this is Tom with Flex Swim, and today we're going to show you how to race with your Flex Swim device. First, we recommend finding the most comfortable fit when you're racing. You can either wear the clips that come in your box, or we can even recommend taking it off the clip and just using the sensor under your cap. about to do a 100 freestyle race simulation. As you can see, I can't even tell that the device is on and running. I'm just getting on and now focusing on my swim. As you can see, I just finished my swim. Now let's turn off the device and get the workout saved. To make sure that your workout is safe properly, make sure that it's at least three minutes of length. So whether you wear it before you're racing or to warm down after your race, just make sure it's turned on for at least three minutes. Now that you've captured swim tracking data from a race, a whole new world of improvement becomes available. Here are a few examples of how popular swimmers and coaches are using race data to tailor their swim. Racing strategy. By noticing your heart rate data and race splits, you can better understand how to race, where you can try harder, or where to back off for energy preservation. Stroke info. As you race, your stroke technique degrades. You can clearly see what is the optimal stroke count, distance per stroke, and stroke rate to achieve the goals you've set out for. Historical reference. The best part of Flex is that as you track your training and racing, we learn more about your swims. By highlighting moments in your swim history where your fitness and technique are optimal, we can dial in your performances. Want to learn more about the data Flex provides? Visit us at flexswim.com to learn more. See you on your next swim.